Cheers from Japan, I'm the Tokyo Toy Bastard, and this is a quick little tour of my toy collection in its current state. It's constantly changing, uh, I haven't really cleaned it up at all, it's just kind of as it is on any normal day. And I've had requests to show it, uh, the last video I did of this uh, had a bad camera, couldn't really see what I was filming, and I think I might have deleted that video, so let's uh, dive in, shall we? All right, I'm going to start all the way over here because I'm going to work away all my way around the wall. Um, I used to have a bunch more Ghostbusters here, but currently I've got these uh, vintage, real modeled uh, Neon Genesis Evangelion figures. I've gotten really into collecting Evangelion recently. Over the past year, started a new Evangelion collectors group, and uh, I put these here as a placeholder. I've actually ordered the uh, Walmart Kenner reissue Ghostbusters which that was where they were supposed to go because all the other Ghostbusters that I had there either got moved, opened, or traded. Uh, and I only kept these two. These are two of the rarer ones that I had. Uh, this uh, uh, kind of, uh, what do you call it? The uh, Fright Features style Slimer with the Proton Pack and the uh, Ecto Glow uh, Egon. This is one of the last figures they released. But... Uh, I will update with a uh, probably another Ghostbusters video. I actually have a Ghostbusters special that I did with uh, my friend Kurodon. Uh, you can find that if you check, uh, search my channel for Ghostbusters. Got a few Ghostbusters videos actually. Um, on this side, we've got some some rare, old school, still in package Japanese random things um, of uh, Dragon Ball. A little little thing, little Goku, uh, mitten box Scouter. Uh, thanks to Hitoshi Uchida. Man, I just woke up, guys. It's like I overslept and I'm tripping over my words. I've got a bootleg, a vintage bootleg um, Goku. It comes in a box set with uh, with uh, Gohan and a little Keshi Goku. This is from Made in Korea. I did a whole video about uh, Korean bootlegs, and I have another one coming out soon, as soon as this package gets here. Um, but yeah, that's a, that's a pop one of my most popular videos is my uh, comparison Dragon Ball bootleg video, so check that out if you have it. Over here, I haven't really found a place for this yet, so this is just kind of sitting here. It's, uh, everyone calls it an Asuka butt plug. It's, it's, <laughs> it's an Asuka entry plug that opens up. It's a pen, and it's also a, um, oh, whatever those things are called that people wear at conventions. God, I know the name for it. Anyway, it also doubles as a, uh, if you turn it around, it's got a, uh, doorknob hanger that says do not disturb in Japanese. So it's multi-purpose. Uh, down here we've got the vintage Yutaka Dragon Ball Z set, um, Piccolo and Goku. It's got some a lot of Keshi down here, some badges, lots of stickers. I put stickers randomly all over the place. See, I'm trying to rush through this because I got a lot to show you. So, uh, a ton more Keshi Dragon Ball Keshi Dragon Ball Z Keshi. Uh, these are mostly the larger real pose line and the Full Metal Jacket and. Uh, cross up and super cross up lines, and oh, going down here, some random Misato goodness. I love Misato. Uh, these are th the only remaining Dragon Ball semi modern Gashapon toys that I have. I sold most of my other ones, and these were my favorite ones, so I kept these. Underneath them, you can't see them all. I've got some vintage Dragon Ball Z games, and Dragon Ball games, video games, and board games. Um, here are some of the paint HG painted Keshi from like round 96, I believe. A little jar of Keshi. I've got several of these. Uh, these have not been sorted out yet, so this is like my newer acquisitions from the past year that haven't been sorted through. Uh, I've got a Marmot 89, or sorry, Marmot 84 Godzilla made in 2004, I think. I could be wrong, a little bit earlier. And then this is the the later one that they did just a few years later. This could be the 2004 one. I honestly can't remember the, the, the dates. But these were made in the 2000s. But they made this one first, and they made this one. This one's a much bigger sculpt. This one's not as well known, but it's one of my favorites. I love Godzilla 1984, 85. As you can see over here, I forgot to show you my posters. Got a little Godzilla 1984 poster. Some Bailante posters. Evangelion on this side. Okay. Um, anything else over here? Ah, yes. Um... We got the NECA Shredder. I just I bought a couple of NECA, the recent NECA figures from T uh, Ninja Turtles because they look so awesome, and I've always wanted a movie Shredder like that. And I've got Toy Biz Batman, one of my favorite. He's my favorite 
hands down my favorite Batman figure. And I like the variant that doesn't have the square jaw, but he still has the uh, the painted mask, not the one with the painted uh, face. I like the one with the, like the kind of flesh, uh, kind of cashy looking uh, skin tone. And then I've got a little uh, little Churro Q style uh, Japanese vintage Batman pullback car there. And then below, I've got the Ghostbusters Firehouse. It's complete, uh, although I did uh, trade the uh, containment unit, or part of the containment unit, so I, I, need, I still need part of the containment unit back. Containment unit back. Um, this is a modern-ish uh, Arale Safabi from, oh, what was the company that makes this? A 1UP, 1UP makes this. And then a uh, recent, I did a video about of this guy, uh, Mochi, um, Sakura Mochi, uh, Godzilla from Marisan. And down here I've got some Dr. Slump, Dragon Ball VHS, Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z DVDs. Yeah, they're the orange brick, but I got these super cheap, so they're just back up in case, because we, we've already got all of Dragon Ball HD streaming on Netflix here and Dragon Ball Z, so these are just backups or for my kids to watch in the bedroom. Uh, I guess we'll start down here. Oh, actually, no, I need to go back over this way. I need to go back up. I've got some of my Blu-ray collection that's buried behind that. Some more Blu-ray collection. Uh, some more cross-up and some of the miniature um, Dragon Ball Z Keshi. Uh, some of these are still on their sprues. These are pretty rare. I, I really like the black and flesh color ones, so... I collect those a lot more than the other ones. Uh, I've got here some vintage Gashapon mini mini Sofabi. Got some eight, uh, SD type, and then some of the rarer uh, like actual figure uh, action figure style Sofabi. I love this line. Um, these are really rare. I've got all of them. I, uh, I've also got there's also a base form trunks that I've got somewhere. I did a review of these well as well. If you look at my Dragon Ball Sofabi review, you can see all of those. Um, here is some of my Evangelion Gashapon collection. Uh, these are vintage 1997 HG series. And then these are the larger scale unpainted Keshi style. And then these were actually uh, theater exclusives for, uh, I think, the first or second rebuild movie. Um, and there's some more in this set, but I like these two the best of the angels. And then they go well with this little set over here. In the back, I've got a uh, later HG. Uh, Lilith, that's really like rad figure. Going up, change of pace here, we've got vintage Star Wars. This shelf is all Empire Strikes Back. A little Kenner Convention badge, vintage. Uh, this is all Imperial figures, and well, and some, and some Bounty Hunters. Bad guy shelf. And my Darth Vader. My dog is barking, so that means someone's at the door, but hopefully it's not a package for me. Here is the original movie figure. And I'm going to turn off the camera and see who's at the door. And I will come back to my Star Wars club. Okay, I'm back. My dog is still barking. Uh, but it, it's my mother-in-law, so I don't have to go downstairs to answer. All right, keep going up. Here's my Return of the Jedi. A little, And, man, you can see some dust on here. You're going to see a lot of dust the further I get into some of these other shelves. I really haven't uh, dusted anything. Actually, another reason I'm making this video is to preserve what my collection looks like now. Because I do plan on buying a new uh, display case. Uh, in the next month or two with some um, some money I'm getting so yeah so this is a nice little archival uh, video of what my collection looks like now and yeah sorry uh, Boba Fett uh, Salacious Chrome this is a vintage uh, Darth Vader eraser We've got uh, Jabba with his bong thing or hookah uh, Slave Leia this is the 1995 or 96 version because they didn't make one in the original version, so this is the only vintage style Slave Leia. So I had to put her up here with Jabba. Um, and I've got a, a carded uh, Bib Fortuna. Um, I'm actually trying to get another one with just the cape so I can make a custom, or sorry, his cloak, so I can make a custom uh, cloak jacket for uh, a reaction Hellboy I'm getting in. Uh, vintage Rei Ayanami doll, vintage Shinji, and uh, Unit 1. Um, Sega Game Prizes, uh, my recent Grail find, uh, I need to do a video about this line once I get Asuka. Uh, this is a 1996 or 1997 Takara um, uh, Misato doll, same goes with this, but I've got her in her own special display. She's a Grail. 
Uh, I'm a big Gamera 2 collector, Gamera in general, but I really love Gamera 2, so I've got some of the Gamera 2 box sets up here uh, by Yutaka. They come with Gamera and Legion. Um, little Dragon Ball uh, cards and temporary, temporary tattoos, I believe. Uh, still on the original display. Uh, giant Arale doll, which I've shown in my Arale video. I need to do a, uh, go back and do another Arale video. The last one I did was before I had this camera. And, I mean, it was alright, but there's a lot of things I want to go back and redo. And my Dr. Slump uh, review collection was one of them. Uh, back here, I've got a, this is another recent edition, a Jumbo Bootleg Goku. I am going to do a Jumbo Dragon Ball Bootleg video at some point as well, sometime soon, because I've also got this J Jumbo Trunks in. Yeah, if you can't tell how big that is, look at how <laughs> giant it is compared to some of these other giant figures. It stands above them. But yeah, I've got a bunch more Dragon Ball uh, Bootleg Sophobi. Some of these are official, some of these are vintage, some of these are uh, not as vintage. Um, a lot of stuff here. I'm not going to talk about every single thing in here, but some really cool stuff in here. Uh, Diecast Godzilla lighter. Uh, vintage Gizmo Sophobi. Some more Keshi. Godzilla Keshi. Some Dragon Ball Keshi. Some Arale Keshi. Uh, some more Arale rare vintage stuff. Jumbo Arale Keshi. Uh, some more Yutaka Goku. This is a giant uh, puppy slash Beatland uh, Godzilla piggy bank. There is another version just by uh, by Poppy that came out a little bit earlier that doesn't have the slot in his chest, but he's a piggy bank. Uh, vintage uh, Stripe Gremlin, one of my favorite toys. It creeps the, the hell out of my kids. Um, got a boxed Arale uh, Doctor Slump. Uh, Miniature soft vinyl set. Uh, boxed full metal jacket Dragon Ball Z Keshi set. Um, actually, before I get down to that down that wall, let's stay on this main shelf here. Over here, I've got some of my Microman collection mixed in with some other random things. Uh, I've got a, a special Henshin Cyborg uh, color uh, variant back there that I've I've given him a hit his own. I give him a not a custom head, but a, a Melway head. And he's got one of the special bodies that's dark black. It's or, uh, smoke black. It's not an Android A, but it's mainly Android A colors. If you know what I'm talking about, you'll understand what I'm talking about. Uh, so it's kind of dark in this corner. It's got Lady Command, held by Robot Man, a.k.a. Biotron, with some Robot Man poster in the back. We've got a complete set of Dragon Ball Kids in box here, although they're covered up by variations of Future Trunk Super Battle Collection. Uh, I've got Kenshiro back here holding another Kenshiro. <laughs> uh, some more Microman, 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 Keshi, Dragon Ball. My SD Blade Runner spinner. I love Blade Runner. More Microman, Micronuts, Dragon Ball Keshi. I did a review of this motorcycle. Check that out. Check out my Micro. This I think it's the video is called "This Cassette Tape Turns Into a Motorcycle" or something like that. Um, rare uh, reju uh, rejuvenation chamber Goku, Golden Goku. More Microman. This is a Palisades Microman. I like the colors on that. I just got this in recently. This is a vintage 1989 Michael Keaton Batman model kit that came in a box. Um, I wanted to do a video of me putting this together. I just, but I got too excited and I put it together already. But I'll probably review some of my more obscure Michael Keaton Batman stuff at some point soon. Uh, here we've got a Diaclone bootleg, which is pretty cool. Uh, some more Dragon Ball Keshi. Um, this is a special edition glow in the dark version of the Rei Ayanami uh, large size Keshi that I showed you earlier. I wish my dog would shut the fuck up. Coco, shut up! I don't know if that worked or not. Some glow in the dark uh, giant god warrior attacks Tokyo. Gashapon figures. These are pretty rare. Um, I have some other ones too. She's still not shutting up. Oh well. Sorry guys. Uh, some vintage Dragon Ball Soft B, which I said I've done a video about before, so you can check that out in one of my old videos. I've got Kuriyo Shin Chan. This is a really rare uh, Goku miniature figure. Uh, I've got this little rare set of Dragon Ball uh, model kits, full color model kits that are just sitting here gathering dust. Um, some more Keshi. Uh, this Goku and Frieza uh, are, are fairly rare uh, candy toys. I forgot the name of the line. Something about posing something, I think. See, that's the, that's the tricky thing about Dragon Ball 
the Vintage Dragon Ball Z stuff, they all have very similar names, like Cross Up, Super Cross Up, uh, you've got Super Battle Collection, Super Collection, Real Pose, Full Action Pose, and it's just like, <laughs> at a certain point, you just kind of get mix them all together. Uh, and this is a special edition uh, Microman that came with a snowboard. I don't have a snowboard oh, over here. I forgot about these guys. Uh, some vintage uh, knockoff, kind of ancient cyborg style Godzillas. They've got a blue one in there too with a recent uh, translucent uh, RLA model kit. They look nice together. Um, I need to get a better shot of those at some point. Uh, here's some, this is a vintage uh, Microman in the case. Um, untouched, like pristine. And a special edition glow in the dark one. And these are some special edition ones from Toys R Us and also some toy shows. Like these toy show ones, like this one and this pink one are my favorite Micromens in my collection. Uh, down here also we've got some uh, paint, rare painted uh, minifigures and mini uh, Keshi. Like these Keshi are some of the rarest Dragon Ball Keshi. Uh, my favorite is this Goku, which is why I have every single color of him. And over here we've got Super Saiyan. Uh, Goku, Vegeta, and Cell. Cell is also one of the rarest ones. Another gift from uh, Uchida-san. Thank you, Uchida-san, for that. If you're watching, let's go down here. we got more Dragon Ball um, and more Microman in the box. I'm not going to go over every every figure in here, but you can see here's some of the rare, uh, one of the rare um, Dragon Ball Sofibi and another giant bootleg with his smaller uh, regular counterpart. A ton of Super Battle Collection loose figures, bootlegs, yellow Super ha uh, Super Saiyan trunks. Uh, I love this AB Toys trunks, one of my favorite Dragon Ball figures. It looks like a Kenner toy. I need to do a review. I think I did, did I do a review? I did a video about trunks, but I think it was Super Battle Collection only. I needed to do an updated version with a better camera. Anyway, about my trunks collection. I love trunks. Over here we got some loose uh, Ghostbusters, Kenner Ghostbusters, loose, all four Ninja Turtles. Um, we've got some, oh, He-Man, what's up, dude? Got some complete loose vintage He-Man. Oh man, someone just dropped. See, man, did you drop your power sword? Oh, I gotta go get that later. Prince Adam, uh, Faker, Beast Man, Skeletor. Um, over here, some more vintage Kaiju Keshi. More vintage Kaiju Keshi. Getting into some Dragon Ball Keshi. More Dragon Ball Keshi. And. Jackie Chan. What's up, Jackie Chan? The silver one. Going down again. Vintage Dragon Ball Magnet and Fan. Shredder Crane. Metalhead. Uh, the recent reaction. Shredder. I picked that up. I didn't open him because I thought he looked really cool. I've got the Party Wagon with Raft Driving. Vintage Pee Wee Herman on his scooter. You can't see it. Some more vintage Gremlins. Uh, a reaction Peter from... Oh, uh, sorry, not Peter. Billy. <laughs> sorry. Sorry, Billy. Billy Peltzer. Uh, Billy from Gremlins. More vintage Gremlins. Uh, thanks to Mike Cabrera for these vintage knockoff um, uh, Ninja Turtle. Why did I forget the name of the Ninja Turtles? Ninja Turtle Keshi. I love these. These are so cool. Uh, put some the, the only remaining Playmobil uh, Ghostbuster that I have. I, I had a ton of them. I just kept this uh, real Ghostbusters Egon. Uh, my two uh, Yolanda um, Kaneda from Akira figures. Uh, this orange one was really hard to find. I finally found him not too long ago. I've got the vintage Kenner Ecto-1 that's gathering dust. I've got Peter on the back. Uh, I, th I think I've got Winston and Ray inside driving, some ghosts. Um, I've got a vintage, this is a uh, Japanese theater guy that I have open for the marshmallow picture. So vintage Jurassic Park. I've got the young T-Rex, thanks to Jonathan Crosetti for giving me that in a trade a couple years back when I visited the US. Uh, I've got a uh, Jurassic Park, Universal Studios, The Ride, Japanese Pen, a little Keshi Raptor, another <laughs> vehicle gathering dust here, um, Jurassic Park uh, Explorer, and I've got all the main characters inside. I don't know if you can see them, but I've uh, got Ellie Sattler, Alan Grant, and um, uh, Ian, Jeff Goldblum in there. It's super dusty, man. There we go. Isn't that what uh, uh, Ian does in the movie? He didn't wipe it. There we go. <laughs> uh, let's see. We've got Beavis and Butthead. You know, because they belong over here for some reason. 
Um, some Yolanda Ghostbusters, still missing Ray. Uh, vintage pencil sharpener I've had since I was a kid. Stay Puft Marshmallow Man. And going down even more, some more boxes. Uh, this is my Blade Runner gun. Thanks to Chris Jacquez for this. I love this guy. It's a, it's a squirt gun. Uh, some vintage SD Sophobie bootlegs, Dragon Ball Z. And a bunch of really dusty Dragon Ball Z figures down here. I'm not going to go through all of these, um, but I will show you what I have down here. Some of these are rare. Uh, here's the original. This is the original line of Dragon Ball Keshi right here. Most of them. This is a really rare uh, line here. This Yamcha, this uh, Kami Senen and the Kami House, this Goku, Bulma on the bike. Those are really rare. Really hard to find. Very expensive if you find them. I love my also my custom Super Battle Collection Bardock right here. And my AB Bardock. Yep. Some bootlegs, some French toys, etc., etc. All right, we're going along the floor here. I have this uh, random Dragon Ball Z promo card. Um, it's like the same size and material that like Ashapon displays are made out of, but it's not, and it's signed Dragon Ball Z. So this was at some kind of uh, promotional event, but I got it at Toy Cats. That was really cool. And then over here, this is a jumbo sized um, Dragon Ball card, Dragon Ball Z card. I've also got this. Um, stationary set which has got some really cool stuff inside uh i also got that from uchida san for my birthday uh, a couple years back and then i've got some theater uh theater guides for the dragon ball z movies plastered on my wall um i like this so this is the back side of it actually and it shows the original six super battle collection figures which are directly above Here's all six of the original Dragon Ball Super Battle Collection series. Some of my favorite figures of all time. And then some other ones, uh, extra ones. I've got a bootleg set with some Keshi. Uh, I love this Gohan. Um, I have a loose Gohan that I've had since uh, high school. Uh, I really love this figure. They nailed this figure. He looks, I think, much better than some of the other figures in the line. Um, I'm currently, this is a placeholder. I've, I've ordered a Cell. Cell's one of the figures I've always wanted boxed. But currently, I've got just a uh, uh, one of the early 1990-91 Keshi sets. And going up here, we've got a bunch of Yutaka figures. A bunch more Yutaka. I've got a few loose in my shelf, but these are all the boxed ones that I have. Love these guys. I've done a video of these guys already. Check that out if you haven't. Some random uh, vintage badges. Well, mostly vintage. Some keychains. Here's a Super Battle, uh, sorry, a uh, Full Metal Jacket complete box set that I found at Superfest uh, earlier this year. Uh, some posters, some random this and that. I'm just gonna go through it. Uh, vintage Takara Batman keychain. I'm getting some more Evangelion stuff. Evangelion plush, giant of uh, unit one. Uh, some some Sophobie. I'll get to a lot more Godzilla stuff in a minute. It's all over here. Uh, laser disc. I've got a bunch of laser discs tucked away. Um, actually, going down here, here's a bunch of Evangelion laser discs, which I did a video about all my laser discs. Most of my laser discs, anyway. Um, here's a big box set that I did a review on. Some model kits I haven't put together yet. Uh, some manga. Evangelion manga. Gamera manga. Nausicaa. Ghibli manga. Um... Well, technically, it's not Ghibli. Hayao Miyazaki. Some more of my Evangelion stuff. Some more Blu-rays. More Ava stuff over here. Some of my random is it English volumes of Evangelion. Some random PS2 games, DVDs, uh, Sega Saturn. Some more vintage uh, minifigures. Jumbo Ray Ayanami Safabi. Some Takara Tommy Choro Q guys. Some more stuff. We got Shin Godzilla. Uh, I got another special edition Marusan. Uh, original J Tel. I've got a 54 Godzilla. I reviewed most of these guys already. Got some more rare model kit stuff back here, like mini mini size kits that I haven't even opened yet. Some vintage uh, Evangelion badges. Goku randomly. Uh, 
here is some more Evangelion stuff. Madness. It's just pure madness here. I'm not going to go over all this stuff in here. And my Spike Spiegel, which I reviewed in a video recently. Some of my uh, uh, Scuda Hobby PVC uh, vinyl figures of the female characters. Urgh, I gotta switch up here. Cross over my couch. Um, up here I've got uh, Orin from Never Ending Story. Gamera plush, now let's get images, um, Vintage Ninja Turtles on card. Some more promos. I've got my handy Magi system. I know you say Magi, but in Japan they say Magi. Uh, I haven't, I need to put some, I, I want to open this and put some batteries in it, but I like the way it looks displayed. Got some Shin Godzilla poster, Godzilla, Gamera DNA, Godzilla, Godzilla. My original Japanese Flight of the Navigator poster. I love that movie so much. Uh, Godzilla 1985 or 1984 uh, Hellboy uh, that's one thing this is the only Hellboy you're gonna see in my collection but I will have a ton more coming in the mail soon I've started collecting Hellboy again so yeah he's just hanging here waiting for a, a new spot uh, Shin Godzilla poster this came from the Art of Shin Godzilla book it's really cool because he's like just chilling with some cats so, or some cats are just chilling with him more Shin Godzilla uh, Chirashi, Chirashi promo Evangelion promo Here's a bunch of Shin Godzilla Bandai figures. Shin Godzilla Bandai Movie Monsters. Some special editions and some standard versions. I need to uh, do a review on this one. There's something special about this that I will not say. But if you look at it, you might be able to tell. If you know what you're talking about. Uh, little Microman here. One of the 1999 re redos. Um, assortment of random figures on my desk. It's very, very random assortment. Some more Batman. Some more Ava stuff. Shin Chan from my recent video. I love this little die cast uh, time machine. That's pretty cool. Gamer badge. Down here, I've got coffee tissues. <laughs> Super Shredder, just got that in. Haven't figured out a place for him yet. Some more, I don't know, I got a little, little purple stuff down here. Some Microman, this little horse that I got recently. Uh, some more Ava guys. And panning around past my computer. Jars of Keshi. More Keshi. Some more minifigures. Uh, some met diecast metal vintage Dragon Ball Z. Some mini Shin Godzilla. Gashapon figures and whatnot. Some more uh, Giant God Warrior. Ava. Giant God Warrior. Um, this is one of the villains from... Henshin Cyborg, King Waterda, but I've hooked him up with his own Proton Pack uh, retro action uh, Peter Venkman doll that I had a while back. I swapped him out, kept his pack, and gave it to him because he looks rad. Uh, some, some more random stuff. Just some eye candy for you. Over here, got my Gamera uh, Pachinko uh, seat cover. <laughs> and then, finally... Getting to the end here. Sorry, this is so long. Uh, random pile. Like, it just looks like a clusterfuck battle of Ava units, Gamera Kaiju, Gamera, uh, random little things here. Some more, a lot of Gamera 2 stuff, a lot of uh, vintage little miniature figures of uh, Theater Coin, some Gamera Keshi still in the capsules. Uh, over here, a lot more Godzilla, a few Gameras. Some Ultraman, all mini soft finals, Keshi, etc. Here's some of my Maru Gacha, some Hyper Godzilla, Bio Biolante, uh, reissue J Tail Godzilla, uh, Bullmark version, Giant, Sakura, Glow in the Dark, J Tail, Marusan, and Giant, even Gianter, Marusan, J Tail Godzilla with his Ultraman Bling. And uh, Hyper Hobby. <sighs> I'm running out of breath. Hyper Hobby Gamera. Glow in the dark version. Let's get closer on him. And some Glow in the dark. Gamera 2 keychains. And I forgot to go down here. Uh, here's a little vintage Dragon Ball bag. Vinyl bag. Um, a bunch of books. Oh, you can pause it if you want to see my book collection. That's my book collection. 
And here's some more Ava stuff. Got my Ava popcorn head from Universal Studios. Some more Gamera 2 guys on top of a Gamera 2 VHS. A uh, complete set of, or a near complete set of vintage Simpsons. Where's Nelson? Nelson's down there. He fell down. You can't see him. Ha uh ha. -huh. Uh, some more camera stuff. Like I said, I like camera. But yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Um, I, I'm running out of breath. This is just a quick video. I wanted to try to do it since it's the last day of Golden Week here, and people keep asking me for this. So there's my collection, and it's all of its glory. Thank you for sitting and, and letting me <laughs> uh, just kind of ramble out of breath about some of the stuff in here. If you have a question about any of this stuff, or if you want me to do a video on a specific item that you saw, let me know, and I shall cover it in a future video. But like I said, this display will change up pretty soon. I'm uh, getting a new case in, so looking forward to that. I need to get some of these guys cleaned up, and I've got a bunch more stuff to add to it that's coming in the mail soon. So, All right, guys, that's it. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Adios. Make sure you thumbs up, subscribe, or I'm coming for you.